Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see. Yeah. yeah. Y'all heard that right? I recorded it. I recorded it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on tape, bro. Right? Loaf got that. Yeah. 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 I want you to, I want you to start putting your shirt on. I need that one. It's a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure. It's good to see y'all. Yeah. You ain't yeah. got to wear that hat just because you're in Texas. You ain't got to do that. I do. No, you don't. Can you come up here? We can't do it. 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 We can't Wow, wow, hey man, listen man, uh, really I wasn't even going to speak on this, but hell, why not, I've been on a roll here lately, man, Big X Plug, I hadn't talked about it in a minute, um, Big X, uh, the plug was out uh, over the weekend, like I said, my weekend recap is crazy. And Big X uh, ran up on Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart and him hanging out, man. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure you uh, uh, let me know, man, if it's something you want us to talk about. Make sure you uh, DM me, send a text or whatnot. But anyway, man, Big X the plug, man, he out having a good time this weekend. And bump into Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart uh, actually acknowledges that he's a fan of uh, Big X Plug. Kevin Hart said he's a fan of Big X Plug. So it's just, you know, uh, he sees him out. And of course, they, they seemed like it was their first time meeting. Group of people around. Everybody, including Max O. Cream. A shout out to them boys, man. And, and just the movement and the work. I like that work ethic. So to see them guys out having a good time and then to see them bumping into Kevin Hart was a great thing because I rock with Kevin as well, man. Kevin Hart, funny as hell. Movies, I, I, I can't get enough of the movies, man. I, I can't wait till the next one. But at any rate, man, uh, let me bring in my girl, Reality TV. Reality TV, you there this morning? I'm here. <laughs> so what uh, what did you think, man, when you seen that uh, Kevin Hart had bumped in, the, uh, uh, he done bumped in the big X, the plug, you know what I'm talking about? I love to see, you know, especially anybody from Texas, Dallas, I love to see them shining and making moves and being in those rooms that they belong in. I love seeing stuff like that. I really, really do. Wow. You know, do you think uh, that because Kevin Hart told him, he said, hey, man, I'm a big fan, but you need to put that shirt on. What do you think? I mean, you're a woman. I really don't. I don't pay him no attention because Pac was taking his shirt off. There's a bunch of them take their shirts off. There's a bunch of them. The oh, rappers, yeah. they take their shirt off. Man, they let it all show, let it hang out. So <laughs> big extra put. I mean, Lizzo, she I even be showing her cakes. You know, who, what do you think about this? I feel like, you know, he confident with who he is. And, you know, you can tell that he loves who he is regardless of what people think. And I love that fact about him, you know. But, I mean... I mean, Kevin Hart take his shirt off more than anybody, I guess, because he feel like he uh, cut up a little baby ninja turtle looking nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I guess he feel like he's so cut up, you know, he could really challenge others to put their shirt on, man. What is you saying, bro? Don't even, matter of fact, you ought to should have known it before you come down here, man. Everything big in Texas, nigga. You just a little bit out of place. You got this cowboy hat on. I rock with you, but nigga, get up off of Big X. That's a native, nigga. Yeah, we don't play with Texas. You know what it is? It's say don't mess with Texas is the slogan. He know that. He know that. So, I mean, are you a Big X fan? Do you like Big X music? Yeah, I like Big X. Do you think Big X is the number one artist in Dallas, Texas uh, don't today? I got to ask you. Who, who do you no, feel is number I one? I don't. I don't. I don't. They all love them. Oh, so you don't, yeah, you don't want to get called out. No. I love all y'all. So, what well, name some of them since you know all of them? Okay, Big X, um, Fobats, um, Z the Wiz, Z and that Doe, Montana 700, uh, Kevin Got Bass. You want me to keep going? Oh, man. So, you really been in your bag. Oh, I be rocking with all of them. Y'all know Auntie Love, y'all. They know it. Wow. So do, do you? But out of all of them, I think I think Big X uh, did have the biggest wave until this four bass guy came along, and and I don't know four bass, and you know I don't see him out here like Big X. Big X working, man. Yeah, but shout out to New Dallas because they really making moves out here. They they start their movement now. Big X, he started it. I believe he started this wave, and we really should salute him because he really started this look. You know, 
new Dallas wave and everybody jumping on it because Dallas is really starting to come out, you know, in the industry and people starting to get them some flowers. Well, I'm starting to see a lot of Dallas people getting their flowers. Mm, mm. So you, you feel like Dallas people wasn't getting their flowers before? Yeah, I, I don't think they was getting a lot of recognition. Wow. So when you're out in the streets and you you, you banging your music in your Jeep, who who you banging? I'm doing, like I told you, I'm doing all the New Dallas. I listen to everybody from Four Bats to Big X to, like I said, Z in there and uh, Z the Wiz and Kevin Got Bass. I listen to all of them because we should be supporting our people. If I'm in the city, I'm going to support them. What do you think they about young and they not out here? You know they do it. They they believe in each other and I love it. What about Rose Summer? Do you? I mean, because he is with Big X and even though he's from uh, yeah. East Texas, what do you think about Rose Summer? I I like him too. I didn't see him when, they, when I know he had to be close by when Kevin Hart told uh, <laughs> Big X to right. put your shirt on. You know, put your shirt back on. Whatever is much. I think it was all comedy. It was all it was all good game. It was a, yeah, I think he was just happy to meet him. And, and, you know, and Kevin kind of like me. When you meet me, you're going to get a lasting impression. It ain't going to be nothing simple. He's going to be over the top, real extra. And it's going to be real ignited. And, and, and you never know. It's best to keep the camera out when he's around because he's going to say something that's going to make you think. Man, this boy is a real comedian. Yeah. <laughs> So, what do you think about uh, the comedy world? Like, w w at, when you look at comedy, uh, we've had from Carlos Miller to mm -hmm. uh, you've had all of these different comics, Chico Bean, um, mm -hmm. you had Lavelle Crawford, you got mm -hmm. Kevin Hart, Cat Williams, all type of people. What's going on with all these people, man? As far as these comedians go, Bubba Dub, what, which one? Well, who you liking? It's, it's, it's actually mid year. Who you liking? <laughs> You know, who, you know who my favorite is right now. You know I'm with Bubba Dub. Oh, you with that Bubba Dub. That Bubba Dub. Trash. You know, that's my boy. He in the comedy world. He got it on. He really got it on lock. I'm going to be honest with you. I went to the show. I witnessed it myself, y'all. So you know he got it. The boy out. He really is funny. He not just internet funny. He is really funny, okay? But he got a lot of stuff going. And I think. Whoever don't know about like all the stuff that he got going in, you need to tap in. He got his own strand. Wow. He got uh you know, even the sports world, you know, he got that a lot too. He Man. But I know he I know for a surety, I, I remember him telling me that uh Floyd Mayweather compared him to Kevin Hart and said that he's next up when it comes to the movie field, I when it comes to comedy, I, all of that. That's something that Floyd Mayweather told him. But going back to like Kevin Hart and him showing love to the true Texans like Max O'Cream and uh like uh, big X to plug. How big is that? That he would show love and wearing the hat. He wearing the cowboy hat. Big X told him, "Man, you ain't got to wear that cowboy hat because you down here in Texas." But I just feel like just to have somebody like him mention your name is gonna say a lot. Period. It's gonna help you. Period. All right. Well, let's have somebody like that of that status. You guys, uh, you heard reality TV. She says that this is going to help uh, Big X's status and his notoriety by him bumping into Kevin Hart. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you feel like this was a win for both guys, or do you feel like it was more of a win for Big X to plug to get that recognition and to be told that he is pretty much uh, that that Kevin Hart's a fan of his and for them to have a back and forth, for people to see them genuinely with some very, very uh, upbeat, smiling, uh, comedic uh, connections as far as just bumping into each other. What did you think? Get in the comments. Let me know. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.